do you feel about Dana making the statement that you're still the number one contender when you come back? You know, he had said that to me when I had got hurt. Um, I uh, I went to my appointment and then we went to his office and he was telling me that um, I was still promised to be the number one contender and, you know, he's a stand-up guy and he kept his word and I expected him to. So, you know, here I am and I'm ready to go. Are you worried anything that you might have lost uh, a little bit of that momentum in the fans' eyes? Because, I mean, I've heard from fans who are saying, hey, have we forgotten that Katsangano is the number one contender? And I kind of admit, I, I kind of had forgotten with all the, the Misha Tate buildup. No, it's it's okay because I know that they needed to promote this fight. I know that this fight, you know, obviously it's a pay-per-view and it has to be important to everything that's going on right now. So that's okay. Um, I know when I come back with everything that I have to bring that I'm going to get right back on where I started. And uh I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish off with those highlights that I thought. Is it hard not to get bitter, I mean, seeing how big this fight has become and how, how big that whole situation became between Ronda and Misha? No, I'm not bitter. I'm a fighter. I'm still going to get to fight. That's all that matters. You know, at the end of the day, I'm going to fight one of these girls and hopefully both of them, you know, maybe a couple times, maybe once. I don't know. But truth be told, the buildup, if you were fighting one of them, might have been different anyway, right? Because you don't have a rivalry with one of them the same way that they have with each other. No, you know, I mean, I... I I hear from mutual friends of, I don't know either Misha or Rhonda, obviously I fought uh, Misha, but, you know, um, from mutual friends, they say me and Rhonda might get along, you know, uh, Misha, and I, I just feel like there's... I don't know, there, there's a little bit in the crosshairs there. With the Brian stuff? Yeah, with the Brian, just, you know, her shoving off my face in the fight um, after she had won a round, you know what I mean? Go ahead, you already won your round, what's your problem, you know? Um, and then, too, there was some pre- and post-fight stuff that kind of irritated me. So, um, on a personal note, I'd really like to get into uh, into another squabble with her and just, uh, I don't know, per personally improve, feel better about that fight myself, you know, fix it and do better. Yeah, did you think you were, I mean, obviously the, the knees were very destructive at the end and that really sealed the deal, but did you think that you weren't living up to your own potential up to that point? Did you, you were, you were just saying you, you weren't really that happy with your performance up until sort of later in the fight? No, you know, I'm really glad that everybody got to see me come back. Um, I, I clearly lost at least, you know, one and a half rounds, you know, um, if not two. And I feel like... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad everyone got to see me come back. You know, you get to see a little bit of what I'm capable of, but that says nothing to my potential. It says nothing about what I'm capable of, and I'm really excited to come back and show that. You know, without those nerves, without those jitters, you know, I'm a completely different animal than anyone has seen, so I'm excited to show everyone. Well, with that being said, a lot of people before have said Kat's the one who could take out Rhonda, so, I mean, you certainly have heard that before. What do you think of that? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I do think I'm the one to take out Rhonda. You know, I, I, I think that Rhonda knows you know I'm not here talking trash but I do think she knows if she can't get that arm bar she's screwed I think I mean I think her coaches know that I think everybody knows that and and uh you know I got my own arm bars so you know when it comes down to it I think it's going to be a great fight it really is what do you think about the development of the women's division being that they've just added the straw weights? I'm really happy that, that it's been such a positive thing. You know, you, um, I remember when it was first coming out, there was a lot of people that were really not supportive of women coming to the UFC. There was uh, a lot of people thinking it was cute. They were thinking it was going to be boring. You know, no one really wanted to see it. And now to see that everybody is doing so good and the women are, are so entertaining. I mean, I've, I've talked to a lot of people that are here tonight saying they're as excited to see the main event as they are the women. And, I mean, who would have thought we'd be hearing that you know it's it before it was like a sideshow it was something people threw on their card and now it's definitely a main point of interest so I'm proud of us we did great <laughs> you're coming off such a tough, tough injury with such a long layoff in what way would you say that's changed you or your outlook as a fighter if at, at all a lot um this has hurt uh you know physically uh personally it's it's definitely been a huge change in my life and i think i'm going to come back a lot stronger i have a lot of pent up i mean all i've been able to do for the past six months is be on a stationary bike and lift some weights so i feel like a hamster on a wheel here you know i just i'm not getting anywhere and when i finally get to start training and doing the things that i like to do i think i'm gonna be a force to be reckoned with and just absolutely unstoppable i i think this was a great thing for me to to have to go through in order to come back that hungry some people say that you know sometimes a loss brings that kind of uh, mentality out of it. We'd say that maybe this kind of replaced that feeling, this time out of it. Oh, this was a huge loss to me. You know, I mean, I got I got the carpet slipped right out from under me. You know, I didn't get to. I accomplished all these things. It was like this great high. I was like, ah, oh, oh, just kidding. You know, like I, I didn't get all these things that I earned, and and they actually got handed to the person that I beat for them. So, you know, that sucked. But what can I do? I, I just gotta stay strong, take every lesson I can out of this, and and come back, you know, stronger than I started. Well, you didn't just you know lose the title shot. You also lost the opportunity to coach on the Ultimate Fighter. How much were you looking forward to that part of? It? 
Well, I am a coach, you know, by trade, and I actually love coaching. Um, I think I think it would have been really awesome to impact all the fighters. However, going out there and being a coach on this show, you have six weeks with them, and I, I'll admit, you know, you're, I'm not going out there to change anyone. If anything, you know, I'm, I'm really good at the mental game. I'm really good at helping people get headstrong and stay headstrong for their fights, and I feel like what I would have helped them with, you know, was more about staying confident and getting ready to go in there and, and do their best, you know, reach their highest highs. And... Um, not getting to do that for them, yeah, it was a bummer because I, I feel like it would have been fun for all of us. But um, the thing that I was the most hurt about was not being able to fight tonight, you know, getting that, that title shot right away that I earned. And, um, you know, a champion is never satisfied, and I do believe I'm a champion. And I'm, I'm going after that belt, and there's just, you know, that, that coaching job would have been fun and it would have been awesome, but this is what I really missed out on. So that being said, who do you think will go home with the belt tonight, Ronda or Misha? I do hope Ronda wins. You know, I want to be the girl that beats the girl that's unbeatable. You know, um, Chris Weidman was that to Anderson Silva, and I would like to be that same position. Um, I think that Misha's talented, and she's good. I think that Ronda is also very talented and good, but I think when it comes down to athleticism, that Ronda is going to win. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Have a good night. Okay. I didn't do...